How to read file from remote host with Ansible? I'm going to show you a live demo with some simple Ansible code. I'm Luca Burton and welcome in today's episode of Ansible Pilot. Today we are talking about Ansible module Slurm. Slurp. We can do it. The full name is ansible.builtin.slurp, which means that is part of a collection of modules built in with Ansible and shipped with it. This module is pretty stable out for years and support Linux and Windows targets. The purpose is to slurp a file from remote location. Please note that the read operation is going to fetch a base64 encoded blob containing the data of a remote file. Parameters. There is only one parameter to take care and is the src that is the remote file path. We are going to have obtained the result inside the contains return value. So, super wonderful! Demo time. Let's jump in a real life playbook to read file from remote hosts with Ansible. Let's go! Welcome to my editor. I will show you one simple playbook to read file from remote host. So let's start our YAML file with three dash and one name for our play that will be slurp module demo that is going to be executed on hosts all of my inventory. Then let me set it out also the permission so become, in my case, I will set it out to false because I don't need a root privilege for this type of file, but you need to adapt based on which type of file you are going to read. I prefer to define a variable remote file and specify the file name full path slash proc slash CPU info. If you don't know this file contains some uh, information about the CPU, and it's very useful if you are handling with virtualization. What else? Let's start our task list. Two tasks. The first will be slurp remote file to read the file and uh, is going to execute the slurp ansible.builtin module one parameter src that will be the value of remote file variable. We need to save the output in a, a variable that is going to be a register variable slurp file and we can do a lot of things now but the simple one is to print remote file. So let me use the ansible built-in dot debug module that we already know with msg as parameter and let me print it out the value of slurp file. So will be the, the value of slurp file that we already know but inside slurp file we need to access the content variable that is exact content of a file. And do you think we are done? No, this is base64 so we need to decode so B64 decode is the Ansible filter to do this type of operation. And that's it. We basically access a remote node, read a file, put inside a variable and decode in base64. Easy busy. Few line of code, great result. Are you excited? Let's jump it out to terminal. And welcome to my terminal. First of all, let me execute the Ansible playbook with ansible-playbook 
Let me specify also my inventory file with dash E and as usual virtual machine demo inventory and then the path of my Ansible playbook. So read file from remote host slurp.yml. The execution is super fast. Basically, you need only to access via SSH one file. And here we have the output. As you can see, this is a Intel CPU uh, Core 7 2.60 GHz. Is exactly seven, no, ninth generation of Intel. And now let me connect manually via SSH, DevOps, as demo example com, and cut the file or better head. So only the first 10 line of file slash CPU slash no slash proc slash CPU info. As you can see, this is Intel i7 9th generation 2.60 GHz and that's done good job Ansible you can complicate more the task and do some uh, further el elaboration of the content of this file in your playbook now you know how to read the file from remote host with Ansible Thank you for watching this video, if you like it give me a thumbs up, write me a comment and keep me in contact with me. See us on the next IT adventure of Ansible Pilot and have a great day! This video is part of our Ansible automation program, sign up today on www.ansiblepilot.com for uninterrupted exclusive video and so much fun.